by B's and D's, if you know what I mean. I don't know what to really talk about, so I just made up a random thing, like they didn't want to do for this, like they made up happy balls. And someone else said some stuff, and then the other guest star said something else. So I'm going to talk about movies. Ah! I almost ripped out a car if I did that. There's always the boy and the girl that fall in love in the beginning, and they're forbid to go out with each other until the dad proves they stay together. And, like, I got this from Pitch Perfect from Becca when, like, she was watching the breakfast and lunch and all this other stuff, and then she... If Pitch Perfect, you would think it would be about songs until you actually saw the movie. And you might hear Pitch Perfect because I just saw it right now. So I just like get on the computer and start to say this stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, if she doesn't like movies that end with all this love stuff, I thought this movie was just going to be funny and they were supposed to compete for a trophy. But no, 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 no. They had to have some love in it. Like in the movie St. Helens that we've watched in my teacher's class with, in science, we watched that and there was some love with the dude that was warning everybody to get out of town because Mount St. Helens is going to blow and you guys are all going to be dead. And so she, this one girl that had a son, they, she believed him and when he was about to go and see if she was about to erupt, he died and then she's all crying on the radio holding her son. And like, oh my gosh, why does there have to be some love in this? And everybody was like ticked because there's always some love in some movies that you don't even expect. And all the boys, they made out on the Mount St. Helens movie. And the boys and me were like, hi. And it was just gross. I, you can hear it. Like, oh my gosh. Just stop this minute. Just stop. I like the dude, the Harry Hess dude or whatever, the old guy that got blown because he didn't want to move since he was so stubborn with all his cat and dog. I like him. Even though he cuts a lot, I like them. So yeah. That picked me on the movie. Wanted to see stuff in rust. I barely watched it last night, and I was like, why does there have to be love in this movie? And I felt bad for the troublemaker, that one dude that said ma the thing, the magic song. I felt so bad for him. He was a, such a good singer, and like, until that one dude left, they all accepted him. And then I think there's going to be a Pitch Perfect 2, because, like, the Acapellas, they like, they, Becca's like, and the people that we want to see that made the team are, and then it starts with the music, but it was funny when they said that the, their confession, because that Amy, that one, what is it, bro, girl, she's like, Ma, I have a confession to make, and she's like, oh, I think we all know this girl. And Amy shows up, and she's like, I am addicted to gambling, and she's like, what? And she's like, it's because I started that addiction when my girlfriend broke up with me, and it, and that Amy's like, yeah, it really is. And like, the girl next to her is like, all, she's like, and she's like, hey, shit. I don't want to be in the middle of love right now for something. I don't get Australian and British accents. I love them both. And I have a little crush on Kingsley's roommate, Max. But no, really not. Sorry, I'm watching Pitch Perfect right now. And they like my confession. That one girl, she's like all quiet. And until the end, that and he's like, just don't shout. And then she says, be still. 
because she supposedly ate her twin in the womb and we're like, well, she's the one that made a snow angel in the barf. And like that little whistle thing, that went in the barf too and it was pretty gross. I'm like, that girl has too much of a control freak. I'm like, it was a fun movie, and I'm still watching it right now. See, I'm watching it, sorry. And like the dude from the troublemakers that rapped, he's like, I think that's so cool. Then the girl with all the ears, she freaks me out. She picks up the iPad and shows what happened. Oh, it's still from the camera too. When there was this one girl, she's like, I have a confession, and she touches herself. She like, and like, she's like, I have a lot. I'm not gonna say the words, like, seriously. And I'm like, is that any, like, I think we all know that. She's like, no, I have it a lot. She's like, yeah, we can tell. It was, like, funny. It was funny when that Amy confessed that her real name was something, but I forgot. Like, Gosh, uh, so tired, and then I have to meet and Lizzie right now. But those are the only two movies that really pick me off. And then I have to watch the great and powerful Oz. I really want to see that. My dad bought it last night. So we went on a date with my mom to Tahoe Joe's. My name is Craig afterwards. <laughs> My dad got Street Fighter for the Xbox. Oh my gosh, I played arcade mode. It was so easy. I just pressed buttons randomly and I won all of them. And then my dad played one. Well, he played a bunch too. And he lost that one. And he won all of them. And I felt so powerful. I want to do it again, but I don't want to turn on the Xbox. Oh my gosh, I'm sweaty. So yeah. Those are the movies that really like messed with me that I didn't really see coming. But once you like, if they put a bunch of stuff on the previews, then you can tell what's gonna happen. But you didn't expect somebody to fall in love with Becca, and I didn't even know it was a college thing. I thought it was like high school. So yeah. So yeah, those are the things that really pick me off. We have a tumbler, get a projection with my face on it and a beanie, my striped beanie, if you saw that all in my hat. So yeah. And it's funny where they go, one, two, four, whatever. It was fun. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> they have to work on it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can tell if I put it to this. It's sweaty. It's gross. And I'm like short. Oh my gosh. It's so hot in here. Please don't take off my clothes. And yes, if you actually saw that, I do have a burning mark right there. If I were in a swimsuit, I'm going to be able to. Okay, so let me show you the tumbler. Oh. oh my gosh. See, it's right there. We don't have anything else except for the YouTube channel. So, yeah. Bye, people that I might or might.
might not know. 